Gambling Gamble on Sports in North Carolina. How about we head over to Atlantic City, shall we? Uh, that would be nice, but first let's take care of a little housekeeping. So I'm working with BetMGM right now because we can legally gamble in North Carolina, but if you do not have an account with BetMGM and you live in North Kakalaki, sign up, put $5 down, make your first wager, use bonus code VICTORIA150, and you get $150 in bonus bets. It's whether you win or lose, so it's a win-win situation. Download the app, put $5 in, make your first wager, use bonus code VICTORIA150, you get $150 in bonus bets. It's a pretty fair deal, and you can use it on these fights if you want to. Now let's get out of Vegas and get around some people, shall we? Let's head to Atlantic City. First fight I'm gonna talk about is a prelim fight. Verna Jandaroba versus Lupe Godinez. Of course I had to pick a Lupe fight, how can you not? And of course, I'm picking Lupe. So Lupe, she's on a four fight win streak. Verna's on a two fight win streak. However, Lupe, she's got that grit she's got that dog in her have you seen her fight she also has a ton of momentum she's got a ton of support verna i mean she's a tough cookie too here's the thing loopy she likes to let it go to decision verna she likes to submit her opponents so loopy really needs to keep it on the feet so she can go to the judges even though i hate that idea why are we going to the judges that's never a good idea Loopy likes it though, so if she can stay on her feet and not let Verna submit her with something sneaky, then I can see Loopy throwing out some Loopy things and getting that W by the judges. Give me Loopy! Okay, I am fast forwarding all the way to the main card. Chris Weidman versus Bruno Silva. This is really going to be about Chris Weidman. So, if you forgot, didn't know, let me remind you, Chris Weidman was the guy who got his leg snapped in half back in 2021 against Uriah Hall. How could you forget if you've ever seen it? It's bad, and Chris had a ton of surgeries to help fix it. Now, he already had issues in that leg when it came to ankles, joints, different things like that, and now he's got a titanium rod in there that is not helping him any no it is not a lethal weapon it actually does not help him in the octagon from what he said anyway here's the problem so now the seed of doubt on whether to retire or not is planted and it's not about whether the outcome of the fight is what it is he actually recently had an interview talking about he doesn't matter how the outcome is, it's more about his camp, his two-month camp. How is he feeling when he goes in? Does he still have excitement? Does he dread going in? That's really what is going to decide whether he keeps going or not. Either way, that's not good for him. You never want a fighter to go in with that little seed of doubt. Like, what am I going to do? Is this it? Is this over now? That's never a good thing. So for me, I feel like that's really gonna work against him. Plus he's only got one leg. You need both with Bruno Silva. I mean, he's not the toughest, but he's still tough. And he can knock Chris out. And honestly, I kinda think that's what's gonna happen in this fight, unless Chris can get it to the mat and maybe submit Bruno, which is always an option. I mean, he's still tough. Chris is Chris. I mean, he's tough, but kind of see it being a Bruno knockout night. And last up, the main event chick fight, Aaron Blanchfield versus Mano Firo. This is going to be an interesting fight. Mano is on a 13 fight win streak. Aaron is on a nine fight win streak. But Aaron is also 10 years younger than Mano. And Mano, she kind of has a one dimensional fighting style boxing. And she reminds me actually a lot of Holly Holm. Holly Holm likes to stay on the feet and she likes to use the cage and Mano does the same thing. And she's also blonde, but that doesn't matter when it comes to fighting. Erin though, she likes to use different tactics. I mean, she'll take you to the ground and I think if she utilizes that, that will help her because Erin likes to let it go to decision with the judges. Again, I don't know why are we going to decision with these judges, but Mano, she likes to knock her opponents out. Wise idea, end it yourself. I don't know if she's gonna do that in this. Erin also is a little bit shorter, a few inches shorter, and sometimes that is helpful if the shorter fighter who's going up against the boxing style opponent is fighting each other because Mano's gonna have to reach down. 
Aaron might be trying to take her down and she can also stand on the feet so let me not take away from that Aaron's good on her feet too but if it does go to the judges you know especially in female fighter um, going to the decision it's very close sometimes these cards are super close and just the littlest of things can sway them one way or another and Aaron she can throw out a lot of different tactics in her toolbox and that will help her if she lets this go all five rounds she's got the gas tank for it she's got the tactics she's got the moves that could absolutely happen and i kind of am leaning that way but you know what let me know what you think like subscribe comment you can also follow me on twitter and we can watch these together thank you for being out of the apex i like it when there's a crowd but hey if you don't let me know what do you think we can watch these fights together i'm excited to go to atlantic city maybe we'll put a little uh, coin on it who knows maybe use some of them bonus bets with bet mgm Duh. Either way, though, let's get it. Knockout, no!